This is probably my favorite dress. This is a dress that I wore a couple of times with my grandmother. This is a dress that I bought in Houston, Texas when I was still in high school. This is a, this was made specifically by hand for somebody named Elizabeth Shell. That is her name inside this dress. I'm gonna turn this dress inside out so you can see the full, the fulsomeness of the artistry. We've got some little linen bows on the shoulder. They're only slightly padded, but they're very tightly constructed. These are mother of pearl beads. This is hand beaded. Every bead has been put, this is not a pattern that was sewn onto the dress. Every single bead that you see on this dress was put there by hand. This is an embroidered dress. It's got a little bit of linen piping, 100% linen. I'm gonna show you something interesting about this dress. This is 1950s. And I, like I said, I bought this in Houston, Texas when I was still a teenager. I wore this when I was in, when I was a senior in high school, I wore this dress. Um, and I wish I had photos of me wearing it, but I don't. You'll note this little cotton panel, curiously, that's underneath this hand sewn dress. You can see the seam finishing here. The pattern was cut with pinking shears. This is hand sewn, this is handmade. And uh, one of the other lovely little features about it is you can um, thread your bra strap through here, let me show you this little feature that's so odd, that no longer is in American women's fashion. See the little, the little snap? You thread your bra straps, you thread this under your bra strap to keep your bra strap from creeping out of the sweetheart uh, picture perfect little neckline there. Um, what this, the, the purpose that this serves is when you sit down in the dress, 100% linen is very flexible. And if you sit in linen over time, or sit for a long time in linen, it will balloon, especially where your big butt is. And you don't wanna walk around with a big balloon butt. This catches your butt and keeps it from stretching the linen that's underneath, which is the reason that this dress has kept its shape so royally over all these many years. I've worn this dress six or seven times. I always wore it while holding my breath and saying a prayer that I wouldn't get any food on it. I never wore it to anything where it was going to be burned with a cigarette or um, uh, where I was going to, anybody was going to slop a drink on it. I only wore it to affairs where, you know, uh, maybe a mid-afternoon, late-afternoon cocktail party. Um, I wore it to a couple of screenings when I was in Texas. What? Which ones? Um, I think I wore it to the screening. It wasn't a premiere, so to speak. Alamo Bay was the very first movie I ever appeared in. And I was such a rube, I was so green. I didn't know that a screening is not a premiere. So I wore this dress. And of course there wasn't a pap to be found. There were just a few stragglers of us from the cast of the film, directed by Louis Maul, by the way, and starring the incredible Amy Madigan and Ed Harris. Um, they were not there, this was a little multi-mall. This is a multi-screen in Houston, but I wore it and I felt like a movie star all night long. Even though nothing really happened, we just watched the movie. This is Elizabeth Shell's dress. From Elizabeth Shell, to me, to you. <laughs>